Bernard is a surgeon who's been the clinical lead, clinical lead of an emergency medical team working in that hospital for the last two weeks. He's just left Gaza today and he joins us from Cairo. Doctor, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. Uh, you have been working there uh, at Al-Aqsa for two weeks, as we said. This decision to leave, I can't imagine uh, it's been an easy one. Explain to our viewers uh, why you had to leave. Uh, so we have to get an agreement every day from the Israeli Defence Force that it will be de-conflicted to allow us to go to the hospital. And we've been going there daily for two weeks. Um, we were there on Friday. Um, I was operating all day. I'm a surgeon. And there was uh, an attack on the intensive care unit. Um, and we were due to leave at about that time anyway. But the following morning, the whole area was taken out of the deconfliction and we were told by the Israeli Defence Force that um, we would not be able to go. So we left. I, I, I was there with an organisation called Medical Aid for Palestinians and MSF were there as well. And both all sets of doctors, foreign doctors, had to leave. You left basically for your safety because, obviously, uh, the threat of attack. So when you hear the IDF say they don't target hospitals, what do you say to that? Well, it's simply not true. Uh, I, I, I've been going to Gaza for nearly, four, nearly 15 years now. I have many friends who work in hospitals there, um, and there are many examples of hospitals being attacked. Um, in the last two days since I left Al-Aqsa Hospital, there have been attacks on the hospital, so it is absolutely not the case that they do not attack hospitals.